It appears that the Kardashian-Jenner family is once again entangled in a money laundering issue. But this time, Kanye West has released explosive proof implicating Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian. We'll go into the specifics and expose what we know about this ongoing saga. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at Kanye West leaks evidence of the Kardashians doing money laundering. Yeah, you heard it right. So new revelations regarding the Kardashian-Jenner family's alleged involvement in dubious business activities, including allegations of money laundering, have just surfaced. According to reports, Kim Kardashian's ex-husband Kanye West keeps his assets separate from hers out of worry for her family's financial operations. There have been suspicions for years that the Kardashians obtained their fortune and reputation through unethical means, and these new allegations just add fuel to the fire. Several sources suggest that Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian may have been involved in money laundering, with Kanye West apparently attempting to alert others about their activities and consulting with numerous CFOs. Despite these assertions, there is currently no proof to corroborate the Kardashians' alleged involvement in money laundering. Kanye's decision to keep his finances separate from Kim's shows that the reports may contain some truth. Prior to becoming a famous businesswoman and beauty mogul, Kim Kardashian worked as a closet cleaner for celebrities such as Paris Hilton, Serena Williams, and Brandy. Coupled with persistent accusations about the family's questionable financial practices, the history has prompted many to question the origin of the Kardashian-Jenner's immense riches. Since 2008, when Brandy's mother, Sonia Norwood, filed a lawsuit, Kim Kardashian's relationship with the singer Brandy has been the topic of much speculation. Norwood accused Kim, along with Chloe, Courtney, and Rob, of making fraudulent purchases with Brandy's credit card at Kardashian-owned stores. Eventually, the lawsuit was settled out of court for an unknown amount. Kim has recently been criticized for her involvement in a Bitcoin fraud. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission determined that she got $250,000 for promoting the scheme on her Instagram profile without revealing that she had been compensated. Kim is not, however, the only member of the Kardashian-Jenner dynasty to have been exposed for unethical financial activities. In 2009, her mother, Kris Jenner, was accused of operating a tax scheme. This has led to speculation regarding the family's genuine source of riches. There have been rumors that Kris Jenner co-founded California Community Church for tax fraud purposes. While the church is registered as a nonprofit organization, members are forced to pay a $1,000 monthly fee and give 10% of their salary to Kris Jenner. Due to the fact that the church is registered as a charity, the Kardashian family receives an annual 10% tax deduction. Moreover, anytime members of the Kardashian-Jenner family donate to the church, they not only obtain a tax deduction, but they're also essentially donating to their own family ensuring that the funds remain within the clan. However, these discoveries pale in comparison to reports that Britney Spears' conservatorship netted the family $600 million in profits. Throughout the height of the Free Britney movement, the Kardashians remain conspicuously silent. This may be the result of their friendship with Britney's previous manager, Lou Taylor, who reportedly had a role in persuading Britney's father to place her under conservatorship. Uncertainty surrounds the specifics of the Kardashian family's involvement in this situation, but the charges have generated severe concerns about the family's business operation and ethics. Page Six recently discovered that the former manager of Britney Spears, Lou Taylor, was identified as a registered agent for multiple firms affiliated with the Kardashian-Jenner family. Among these businesses are Kim's Fragrance Company, KKW Fragrance, and Kylie's King Kylie LLC and King Kylie Holdings. Lou was also the process server for Kendall Jenner Inc. and Kris Jenner's nonprofit Kardashian-Jenner Family Foundation. In addition, Kim and Kanye's divorce paperwork revealed that Lou was the trustee of Kim's trust fund, Noel Roberts Trust. What does this have to do with Britney's conservatorship? According to a viral Twitter thread made by Britney Hyattis, the Kardashians may have profited off of Britney's money by using their connections to Lou Taylor. Britney's younger sister, Jamie Lynn, was briefly designated as the trustee of Britney's largest trust in 2018. Jamie Lynn submitted paperwork to transfer Britney's funds to a separately managed trust account with Stonebridge. According to Britney Hyattis, the vice president of Stonebridge is none other than Lou Taylor. The Twitter thread claims Stonebridge's assets increased and then decreased by $600 million around the time that Jamie Lynn had invested to a holding company with the same name incorporated in Panama, a well-known tax haven. The thread indicates that the Kardashian-Jenners may have benefited from this move due to their ties to Lou Taylor who was named as a registered agent for their firms. Forbes released a story in January 2022 titled Kim Kardashian is $600 million richer after shapewear brand Skims reaches a valuation of $3.2 billion. And this is where the purported Kardashian connection begins to emerge. 
Well, this could be a coincidence, as Brittany Hyatt has pointed out, if Lou Taylor needed to hide $600 million and Kim's estate was worth billions of dollars, it would make sense to try and hide the money there. Nevertheless, that is not the only coincidence. The Kardashians use of social media to promote products and services without disclosing their sponsored partnerships is another facet of their alleged financial schemes to consider. The Federal Trade Commission has tight disclosure criteria for sponsored content, but the Kardashians have been accused of regularly breaking these guidelines. It was reported in 2019 that Kim Kardashian had resolved a lawsuit with a marketing firm over allegations that she had failed to declare her support of a pharmaceutical product on social media. And in 2020, the FTC received a complaint against Kylie Jenner for failing to disclose her financial ties to a company selling weight loss goods. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.